<laughs> Turning now to a second case that's also drawing negative attention to the district attorney's office. It involves the family of Jasper Wu. The toddler was asleep in his car seat when he was killed, struck by a stray bullet in a rolling gun battle between rival gangs on 880. And Shout out to atheism is undefeated, man. That's my dude, man. He did videos on me before. He gave me shout outs before back in the day. Shout out to atheism is undefeated, man. He's back on YouTube. So to salute them. Oakland. The shooting happened in November of 2021. His family spoke only to ABC 7 News anchor Dion Lim today about a meeting they had with the DA this week, which left them unsettled. When I sat down with Ann Wu and her husband one month ago, they expressed concerns over Alameda County DA Pam Price's new guidelines, not allowing prosecutors to file or require defendants plea to sentencing enhancements. Those worries were made tenfold this week after Price met with the Wu family. Oh, God, that's crazy. This wow. is your fucking. So you got a DA, you got a sister DA in San Francisco. You say, all right, we're going to move to the suburbs. We will move to Alameda County, man. Get away from San Francisco. <laughs> and this is the fucking DA out there, man. <laughs> Fuck. That, that's a super Alameda is Oakland. Okay, is, well. Alameda is Oakland, dog. Okay, thank you, man. That is a super sister, though. Yeah, that's a sister sister. <laughs> Shit, man. God damn. Fuck. Pam Price's and the fucking son man, we did the story. Son man shooting at another son man. Shot that fucking kid in while he was in his car seat. That's some sad that, shit, man. They caught the fucking son man. They got the son man, but they 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 they, they, they he, he gonna get off with this for the shit. Guidelines not allowing prosecutors to file or require defendants plea to sentencing enhancements. Those worries were made tenfold this week after Price met with the Wu family on Tuesday. My main concern is still the same. I still worries that it won't be the full extent of sentencing. Jasper Wu was tragically shot and killed on November 6, 2021, during what law enforcement call rolling gunfire between rival gangs on 880. Prior to that meeting, I also obtained a series of emails, which Price sent to members of the Asian American community and county supervisors. In one, she claims certain vocal members of the local Chinese community and media, including reporter Dion Lim, misled the public. In another email one week later, Price addresses Chinese communities calling many misinformed and blamed them for spreading misinformation. Could it you imagine if a Chinese prosecutor did that to certain people? Oh, Lord, it would be just like that shit in fucking um, Tennessee right now. It'd be the biggest story in the fucking country. If a fucking Chinese prosecutor told some people, man, look, man, y'all misinformed. The white guy... Who, or the Chinese guy who killed y'all fucking little black baby in a running gun battle. Um, yeah, um, um, he we gonna give him two years, man. We gonna give him probation. And y'all all misinformed. Black people who have a fucking fit. But you get, but we get to talk to fucking fucking tigers like this, man. Community and media, including reporter Dion Lim, misled the public. In another email one week later, Price addresses Chinese communities calling many misinformed and blamed them for spreading misinformation. It's something that did not sit well with Ms. Wu. I don't think we or, or the Chinese community, we were not misinformed. Or the national- That's a beautiful ass Chinese uh, Asian woman right there, man. Right there, it's mad. It's informed or the National Asian Pacific Islander Prosecutors Association, a group of mostly federal, local, and state prosecutors, which issued this letter denouncing Price's emails and messaging to the public. It was a little condescending. It was discussing how people, uh, some people, and it was referencing Asian Americans or Chinese Americans. He called them some people. Dude, I, we did a story earlier this week with some drunk, Fucking no name, fucking Mexican chick calls some goddamn black college students, you guys, and a goddamn university had to apologize. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> she called these motherfuckers some people. Some, what the fuck? Denouncing Price's emails and messaging to the public. 
it was a little condescending. It was discussing how people, uh, some people, and it was referencing Asian Americans or Chinese Americans earlier, uh, don't know the basic constitutional law and basic rights and basic laws like innocent until proven guilty. And so I really felt um, a little bit offended. Now, Pippa also invited DA Price to meet. We don't want to be divisive. We don't want to split things up. We want to all work together and come to a solution where there's justice for, for Jasper, justice for uh, everybody that's involved in, in this particular case, and in all cases. Price also released a series of videos on social media after meeting with the Wu family, defending her office and calling the media out again. Some people, including reporters, are saying things that are not based on facts. In a second video... No, that's totally out of line, man. Time out, man. You're supposed to be above all that shit. You supposed to have your head down doing cases. She fucking clapping back on Instagram. What the fuck? That's crazy. And she's a DA? Yeah. The DA like, <laughs> hold on, God. man. Time out, man. Y'all got me <laughs> fucked up out here. Like, <laughs> what the fuck is going on, man? She po- that's, this is unbecoming, man of a fucking person in her status, man, or her position. I ain't gonna say status, but her position. She And under no circumstances, she, she, now if she did a press conference or something, but y'all just come to the, look, y'all don't know what the fuck, y'all, she rolling her neck and shit. Salute the Muramasa, man, Occupation Hall of Fame. He says, do Duterte of Philippines made it the death penalty for all drug dealers and users? Yeah, um, yeah, du- Duterte is is, is 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 he's like the one in um El Salvador. They're doing great work, man. Salute to those two um guys that are um showing us the way, man. I forgot the guy in El Salvador's name. Artifact says, I was very woke, but now I'd say awakened and aware of the reality of the situation. Also read portions of a great book called Black snowflakes. Mm, I might have to check that out. Black snowflakes. Mm. But yeah, this Hi, morning, man. Uh, Go ahead. I'm, I'm new here, I'm, so I'm not sure. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, you sound like you fucking um, far away, man. You might want to um, get up on your mic, man. Okay, is that better? A little, little bit. But if you could get, if you could, a little bit louder. Okay, sorry. Okay, let me try. Okay, I'll try and work this out. I'll come back to you. Yeah, yeah, pull it up. You can tell he's Nigerian. He got that Nigerian voice or some shit, man. What the fuck? <laughs> you you ain't no you ain't no you ain't no Jerry Judge Hines, man. You um Jerry um goddamn um Baba Ifatunde Ifa Malawako or some shit like that, man. <laughs> you know about some goddamn Judge Jerry Hines. Ain't no fucking way that's your name, man. You sound like a goddamn. <laughs> yeah, you're crazy, Hawk. Yeah, man. But um, let's see. Calling the media out again. Some people, including reporters, are saying things that are not based on facts. In a second video, Price expressed sympathy for Jasper's murder, but also claimed the case was being used to attack her office. The kind of racist messages that my office has received. Oh my God! No class. A little, a little the baby son. was killed. A little baby was killed, and she's talking racist. Yeah, <laughs> no she class. made, she made her, she made everything become like a victim. Like, how she the victim, or her office is a victim. The kids, the kids just got killed. They're about to let the fucking guy off too. That's why they, she, the people are upset. They're like, wait a second, you're about to let this guy off. Like probation or some shit for fucking killing a fucking kid. That kid was cute shit too, man. You can't kill cute kids, man. That's sad, man. Shit is crazy, man. Man. So, but some people we've been trained. This is where you glad is fucked up. You've told us if we're ever in a bind, if we're ever in a jam, if we're ever feeling uncomfortable, pull out that race card. That shit is a fucking. Get out of jail free card. Yep, that's just coming hard in 2024. Well, added to that is I can't breathe. Yeah, this is, this is, this is, yeah, but you, I can't breathe. You got to be in a chokehold. Uh, that race card is good. 
anywhere, man. Hell yeah, 2024 coming up. Um, a presidential race, so you know that's just coming even more harder, too. You see how they already starting the fucking the goddamn basketball. Watch the NBA playoffs coming up. Watch it be about racism. Who the fuck is wasn't the MVP? The goddamn jokage that was about racism. Oh, the they, the white boy is only winning the MVP because he's white. Y'all racist. White dudes never win the fucking MVP award. <laughs> the fuck <are> <laughs> Never win that shit. You could name every fucking white MVP on one hand, and they fucking these niggas losing their head because the white boy went was going who, with who was, the, who was the last one? Like Larry Bird or somebody? Well, like I think um the whiskey, the whiskey won it back in the day. Based on facts. In a second video, Price expressed sympathy for Jasper's murder, but also claimed the case was being used to attack her office. The kind of racist messages that my office has received and directed at me personally is unprecedented. While Ms. Wu was hesitant to comment too much about her feelings on DA Price, she asks for one thing. I would like to see the maximum sentencing to the full extent be charged in Jesper's case. I reached out to Pam Price's office for comment and was referred back to her social media video. I hate that fucking woman. I hate this old Wanda Sykes looking ass bitch, man. Can't stand her, man. You <laughs> don't want to say. You don't want to say. Somebody in the chat said a fake Chaka Khan. Yeah, well, no, nah, don't just talk about Chaka Khan. Like Chaka Khan is beautiful, man. This woman looked like a goddamn. She looked like fucking wicked witch of the west or some shit. This bitch is fucking <laughs> like she melting yeah. or some shit. Throw some water on her. Watch what happens. No, yeah, so, alternate universe Chaka Khan. That's what that is. Yeah, man. Salute to Doc Mon, man. 2018, man. He says, I have a question. I hear on the panel a lot that people not living life as thugs are needs or are nerds or squares. My question is, when did society accept worthless criminals that only take from the community as being cool? It's always been like that in Blackistan, man. Blackistan no, ain't... It's been like that since I was a kid in Blackstone. Man, that shit ain't start like this. Ain't no fucking shit that just started, man. It's always been. It was like that when my when my parents was growing up. They said it was the same way when they were growing coming up. Black people, we 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 we're base, right? So since we're base, we always go to the lowest common denominator. So we gonna make our heroes the lowest common denominator too, man. Uh, um, our people's stature gonna be the lowest common denominator. But that's just what we do. We're just base, man. Um, but I tell you one thing: if 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 you wouldn't have pollution and all this shit, and the environment be fucked up if it was just some people, because we wouldn't build shit, man. We wouldn't do nothing to fuck up the environment. <laughs> <laughs> the environment would be in good hands if we would just some people here, man. Y'all glad to be building shit, making all type of plastics and fucking. Uh, <laughs> That ain't biodegradable. You could, if, if some people was here, every fucking object on the planet would be biodegradable, man. We would have made nothing that wasn't biodegradable. Let's see. Um. Oh, yeah, I wanted to show y'all this, man. Oh, God, man, I tell you, man. Um. This girl right here. Um. <laughs> 